run, so I thought I would make a video reviewing my purchases from Ulta since I have actually just remade platinum status and I didn't think that was going to happen because I, most of the year I was on a no buy and then just not having a job means not buying much. Um, especially when it comes to makeup. So I'm like, okay, let me write down all of my things and review them with you and see where my money went for me to become platinum once again. Because you have to spend $450 at Ulta in a calendar year to become platinum. So I have written them all down because I like writing things down. I feel like that's easier for me than just like looking it up on my phone because I can actually see it and I tell you whether I have used the things or not. So, my first purchase of 2019 at Ulta was done on January 5th. So five days into the year, I was already buying stuff. Um, and I bought the Lancome Miss Monsieur Big Mascara, the MAC Powder Kiss Mullet Over Lipstick, and the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. And just so you guys know, that was a $74 purchase, and I actually have used up the mascara and the moisturizer completely up, and of course the lipstick is a lipstick, so, I mean, that is $55 I have already used up from my first purchase of the year. Alright, and so I was good for a while. My next purchase wasn't till... March 14th, which March is my birth month, if you didn't know. Um, I bought the Revlon Light Up Mirror with a gift card, another Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara, Pearl Bobby Pins, um, these diamond shaped bobby pins also, which they charged me twice for, and I didn't even realize it, which makes me so mad because I did not buy two. Um, and I also bought scrunchies which I still use, this is from that pack, and a Kula lip balm. Now, everything has basically been used. Um, the light up mirror is not like a product that you use up, but I do use every day, so that's good. Finished up that Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. Finished the Kula lip balm already, and like like I said, I use the scrunchies all the time. That was a $93 purchase, but I did use gift cards from my birthday and points for that, so it's $93 went towards like becoming platinum, but they weren't my $93, so that's cool. I mean, everything for March has basically already been used up, slash it's in use that's like not a used up item. Okay. The next time I went to Ulta was April 18th, and I only bought two things, but it was still a $72 purchase. Um, I believe they did the 20% off coupon at this time, just by looking at what each item paid for versus what, or cost versus what I paid for. So I bought the La Roche Posay sunscreen which I'm actually still using till this day because it's not my favorite but I think I have a little bit over half of it used up and then a $70 Murad eye cream which has been used up and literally did nothing for $70 which was the biggest waste ever but at least I used it up jokes on me now I only buy a $20 eye cream the next time I went to Ulta was the next month May 27th, and I bought, oh, but this is all using points, so I guess it doesn't count, but I did spend 250 of my own money, but I bought a new eyelash curler from Tweezerman, which I still use, um, the Essence Brow Gel, which is actually the only brow gel I have, or brow taming product that I have right now, um, because I used up my Milani Brow Wax that I've been using all year long. A Jack Black Lip Balm, La Vanilla Roller Ball Perfume, and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyeshadow Palette in Soft Glam. So, the brow gel I'm currently using, and you know, once it's used up, it's used up. 
Um, the Jack Black lip balm, I think I still have. I bought several of them, so I don't know which one is which. But the fact is, I'm still using it. The La Vanilla Roller Balm, Roller Ball perfume is actually in Arizona, so I haven't used that one up yet. And I have the um, ABH eyeshadow in Soft Glam that I am using, but haven't used up. So. For the most part, I am using most of the items, which is great. That's what we want. Okay, and then apparently my mom uses my phone number to get me points. So in June, she bought herself the Derma Blend Leg and Body Foundation. And that one was $34, but that one was her purchase. But it did help attribute to hitting platinum again. Okay, my next purchase from May was in July. And all I bought was a new beauty blender um, and a Sesh Beat top coat. And that purchase was $29.95. And I am still currently using both. So, another thing. Hey, this is great, guys. Like, I am have used up or I'm still using a lot of the things. I'm not buying unnecessary things. So what have we learned here is that she is not buying things that she doesn't need, which is a great sign in my book. I bought the Mario Badescu eye cream for $18 and I'm still using that eye cream. I actually am almost done with it. I don't think I can hear the neighbors upstairs. They walk around a lot and it just makes squeaky noises and I don't like it. <laughs> but um, I don't, I think I can last with the eye cream the rest of December, but I will have to replace that once it's done. But it's not done yet, especially because you only need a little bit to go a long way. So yeah, we'll repurchase that one because that was $18 and not $70. The next purchase I made was, this is already in college, just like a timeline. So the next one was September 21st. I bought the Peter Thomas Roth Max Complexion Pads, which I am using, which really helps sometimes with like stubborn little bumps that randomly appeared. Um, my skin is already used to like harsh chemicals, so that's when I use that one to kind of like reset it. So I am using that, except that one retails for $46, but I believe I did use a 20% off coupon. Then I bought two travel size Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Sprays because I think they were having a promotion and I didn't have any setting sprays and was really needing it because it was really hot and my makeup was just looking really bad at the end of the day because it's really dry, it's really hot to where I am. Joshua is home! I'm so excited. The reward system at Ulta. <laughs> I have stuff to study. It's I'm almost done. I'm in the last portion and then it's just that. Good Bye. <laughs> What's going on? The last thing I bought <laughs> on that trip. Which I haven't used yet because I'm still using my other one, but it's there. Ready when I need it. Right? <gasps> Cute Christmas tree. Kind of finish with you in it so that way it's less awkward. Why would it be less awkward? So you're not judging me because you're in it. <laughs> Why would that make any difference? <laughs> On October 25th, my next purchase of. <laughs> $33.18 was a Cetaphil clip face cleanser because we like to clean our faces. Um, Ardell Wispies, eyelashes, a NYX liquid liner because we want our eyeliner to be on fleek. What a handyman. This picture's broken. Okay, last one. Last one. We're on our last one. Last time I was at Ulta. And the last purchase, I only bought one thing for myself, and that was the La Roche Posay Lip It Cart A Balm, which I already used thanks to your mom. Your mom gave me a sample of that, and I loved it. It's a great night cream, and so I bought the full size. 
Thanks, Josh's mom. Thanks, Josh's mom. This product is not endorsed by dermatologists in America. <laughs> um, and then the rest, I used my points for my mom. Because I'm such a nice daughter. And it was really expensive, and I felt bad because she was like, I don't want to spend too much. But she got the Tarte Shape Tape foundation and concealer because she likes full coverage. And she got the Jack Bomb, Jack Black Lip Balm Kit for $12. And that's how I became a platinum once again at Ulta. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Love you so much. Oh. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.